Hello everyone, my name is Milan Popert and in this video I am going to describe what is physics and scope of physics. So first of all what is physics? The word physics comes from a Greek word meaning nature. So physics means nature. Its Sanskrit equivalent is Pothiki and Pothiki means the study of the physical world. Physics is a basic discipline in the category of natural sciences which also includes other disciplines like chemistry and biology. Physics can be described as a study of the basic laws of nature and their manifestation in different natural phenomena. So in short, physics can be defined as the study of the basic laws of nature. There are main two principal points in physics, unification and reduction. In physics, we attempt to explain diverse physical phenomena in terms of a few concepts and laws. The effort is to see the physical world as manifestation of some universal laws in different domains and conditions. For example, the same law of gravitation describes the fall of an apple to the ground, the motion of the moon around the earth and the motion of planets around the sun. Similarly, the basic laws of electromagnetism govern all electric and magnetic phenomena. A related effort is to derive the properties of a bigger, more complex system from the properties and interactions of its constituent simpler parts. This approach is called reductionism and is at the heart of physics. For example, the subject of thermodynamics developed in the 19th century deals with bulk systems in terms of macroscopic quantities such as temperature, internal energy, entropy, etc. Now next is scope of physics. In physics, there are two domains of interest, macroscopic and microscopic. The macroscopic domain includes phenomena at the laboratory, terrestrial and astronomical scales. Classical physics deals mainly with macroscopic phenomena and include subjects like mechanics, electrodynamics, optics and thermodynamics. The propulsion of a rocket by a jet of ejecting gases, propagation of water waves or sound waves in air, the equilibrium of a band rod under a load, etc. are problems of mechanics. Electrodynamics deals with electric and magnetic phenomena associated with charge and magnetic bodies. Its basic laws were given by Coulomb, Oersted, Ampere and Faraday and combined by Maxwell in his famous set of equations. Optics deals with the phenomena involving light. The microscopic domain includes atomic, molecular and nuclear phenomena. The microscopic domain of physics deals with the constitution and structure of matter at the minute scales of atoms and nuclei and their interaction with different props such as electrons, photons and other elementary particles. Quantum theory is currently accepted as the proper framework for explaining microscopic phenomena. The challenge in carrying out imaginative new experiments to unlock the secrets of nature, to verify or refuse theories is thrilling. First, it was realized that for scientific progress only qualitative thinking is important but it is not enough. Quantitative measurement is central to the growth of science, especially physics, because the laws of nature happen to be expressible in precise mathematical equations. The basic laws of physics are universal. The same laws apply in widely different contexts. So physics is exciting in many ways. If you like my content then please share it. Thank you and one day Mataram.